Hello, Mustangs and Mustang families. Welcome to this virtual back to school night. My name is Mr. Harp. I am your student's physics teacher, and I wanted to put together this video today to go over the class a little bit, introduce myself first off, and then give you guys some insight on what we've been doing and how we've been doing it in this crazy, unique um, virtual situation. So I'm going to get right into it so we don't take too long. Um, about me, just so you get a little bit of uh, who I am. I graduated from the University of Redlands. I was a dual sport athlete through college. This is now my sixth year at Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, I've taught biology, anatomy and physiology, natural science, and oceanography. And now this is my third year teaching physics. Um, I'm also the varsity water polo coach. I'm the assistant varsity swim coach. And I'm also the head swimming coach at Circle City Aquatics. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about that stuff as we go along. So the class setup, um, probably the most important thing here, is all in Google Classroom. And so I'll try and go through this all quickly. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll have my contact information at the end. Um, but every day there's an attendance question on Google Classroom. And that is my way to, one, take attendance, and two, give participation points for uh, being in class every day, in class every day. Um, there will be a lecture and an assignment also posted in Google Classroom, and I'll show you an example of that. And then every day I have an optional Zoom in the last half hour of every class. So um, to backtrack a little bit, at the beginning of the year I, I had word from administration and a lot of my students that they were sharing devices. They had one computer between them and their sibling. So what I decided to do was all the lectures um, record them and make a video. So there isn't a Zoomed lecture. So if the kids get on late or if they're sharing a computer, they can go on later in the day and check in. Now there is issues with doing it later in the day that I'll talk about. Um, but really, you do have that option to log on and watch the lecture, my lecture notes um, at any point. So that's kind of the reasoning for that. The optional Zoom every day is at the end of each class. So first, you can see right here, first and second period um, are 8.30 to 9.30, and I'm just sitting on Zoom. Kids can log on, ask me a question or two, and log right off. Um, usually I have no more than about two people in at a time asking me a quick question and, and uh, going off. And then uh, third and fourth period are 10 and 10.30, uh, or 10 to 10.30. And realize if it, there's any issues, I'm available for Zoom any other time as well. So I tell the students, you can email me, send me a Zoom, or say, can we Zoom? And I'll send them a link, and we can kind of chat at a time outside of those. But again, I am sitting on Zoom at those times. Um, I do have a Remind set up for every class, and those have been really great so far. Just having kids kind of text me, hey, there's something wrong with question three, and I can um, troubleshoot with them, or hey, I'm not sure how to do this, and I'll give them a brief little rundown of a question. So that's really great. I'll show those Remind codes later on. And then um, I talked a little bit about coaching. I put on here, I am available, I'm on my computer, from 7.40 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. every day. Um, at about 2.30, I close up my laptop, I eat lunch real quick, and then I'm on the road to be able to go coach. Um, soon high school, but right now it's just club practices. So um, after about 2.30, I'm not answering questions immediately. I'm on the pool deck, so I don't have my phone in my pocket. So... Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more, but just make sure everything, if you have any questions or anything, uh, encourage your students to do it early in the day before I'm off coaching, okay? So a typical class would look something like this. Um, first thing, they log on, go on to Google Classroom, answer that attendance question. Usually those are simple little questions to show that they're present for the day, but also it's oftentimes a quiz question, so those help. Um, so I usually go over them in the video lecture. Watch the video lecture. This is um, an example right here, just a screenshot 
of the day seven assignment. I kind of cut off some of the introduction, but then I put in there the Zoom code is right there in the assignment, so they can just click right on that. This right here was my video lecture. You can see I posted to YouTube. It's 19 minutes long. I included the PowerPoint with all of our notes so they can go through that on their own. And then I had the assignment. This was where we were doing a lab with a uh, constant velocity car, the red car. And then here was a video of the car moving since we couldn't do it in person. So they need to watch the lecture, start the assignment. And then by the time it comes about 830 or 10 o'clock for the later classes, um, you should be done with watching the video and have started the assignment. So um, that's when they can go on Zoom, message me for help, um, and like I said, pop up on Zoom and ask me some questions. And then last thing is turning in that assignment. So that's a typical class um, that they're going to do pretty much every day. Um, important things to note. So first off, the kids need to finish their assignments each day. Um, usually on a typical schedule, what I do is whatever we did say on Monday on the next class, Wednesday, I am going over that assignment so we can stay. It's still fresh in their mind. So when I go over, I review it the next class. That means I'm giving all the answers. So I typically am not going to really accept assignments that are turned in after I've already given all the answers to the class. Um, I usually end up due, to be honest. I, I accept them, but I just really knock points off. So it ends up being I take like 50% credit on stuff like that. So that's going to be huge for getting a good grade is turning the assignments in on the day they are due. Um, and, of course, things happen, and I just tell the students, email me if you have any issues or, or have a reason why you couldn't do the assignment that day. Um, everything is listed as a day and then the number on Google Classroom and in queue. So I tried to make it real easy to look at Google Classroom and see, hey, you're missing, or look at queue and see you're missing day 10's assignment. Look over at Google Classroom and here is day 10. Um, they're all labeled the same thing. So hopefully that is pretty transparent when you look at it. Lecture videos should be watched all the way to the end. I've had, the last few days I've had maybe five or six kids total in all my classes um, send me a reminder or send me an email and say, hey, I don't know how to do this problem, number two. And I said, did you watch the video? Because I know that's a hard question and I showed you how to do it. And then they go on and go, oh yeah, now I know how to do it. So um, that's something, making sure the kids are watching all the lecture video doing the work when it's scheduled. Um, don't wait till the evening. I've said this over and over to the kids. After about 2.30, I take my coaching very seriously. And after about 2.30, I can't answer right away. I'm either driving or I'm on the pool deck coaching swim or water polo. So um, I just can't answer stuff right away. So the kids are on their own. If they do it before 2.30, I'll be right there within five minutes. I can usually answer and help them out. Okay. Um, printing issues, um, submission issues, late work, anything, I've been telling the kids message me. Today in particular, one of the assignments we did, um, they mess the kids messaged me and said, hey, this isn't working. So I just emailed them my copy of the assignment rather than posting it on Google Classroom where it somehow uh, messed up the formatting. So if they can't print something or submitting something, they can always email me and I'll count that right then as they submitted it. Not like it's going to be late just because they sent it to my email and not Google Classroom. Um, and then late work, I said um, to the kids, if you might miss something or I've had a lot of kids do, um, hey, I'm going to be late or I have to help my mom in the morning. And they just message me, and I'm real understanding on that. So encourage them to keep me in the loop, email me or message me, and let me know if there's any issues at any point. Okay? And that's pretty much it. The last little bit here, uh, miscellaneous things I thought people might be interested in. The remind codes for each period. If your student isn't on there, they can just uh, send this text at one harp fizz. 
um, and that would get them text it to 81010 and that would get them in the period one remind um, and then they can ask me questions on there it's really convenient um, grading this is on the syllabus and the syllabus is on google classroom but this is what usually people are interested in kind of the standard grading scale my email um, again the kids can message me on Google Classroom on Remind, but um, if you have any questions as a parent or guardian, um, send me a message on uh, email. And then the only other thing I could think of that people might have questions on is in the future projects. And we will do a few projects spread out throughout the, the semester and the year where the kids have to build something or go out and buy something. And and if you have any questions on that, I try and keep things real budget friendly and try and make things simple that you could do with things around your house. Um, and so if a project comes up and your student is asking for certain things, then um, if you have any questions about it, just email me and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, other than that, that was pretty much it. So there's my video. Again, if you have any questions about absolutely anything, uh, just reach out to me by email. It's probably best. And uh, I'm having fun so far, even though it's a little bit different. And uh, I hope all you are too. So thank you for your time. Bye, everyone.